Welcome, folks. I'm Jabby Kuei, joined by Achara Kirk. What's up? We're about to look at the pacemaker. Pacemaker. Wow. That was. I know. <laughs> I keep hearing pacemaker as okay, well, I know. to be fair. Okay. We're looking at the Peacemaker first look teaser from DC Fandom 2021. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, and vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. All right, let's jump into this. Here we go. Peacemaker? Dude, I'm famous. What are you? You're a born killer with expertise in every weapon known to humankind. I'm giving you the chance to stay out of prison and work for me. Kill people. Bad people. This is hardcore. Be a handler in the field. John Economist, Tech and Tactics. And this is our new recruit, Ade Bayo. You don't have to shoot people after you already killed them. <laughs> right. Who's the guy that's peeking out behind the trash can? Vigilante, he's trying to be helpful. <laughs> our first target is Senator Roland Goff. What's the little... Goff may be traveling with his family. Are you sure those two kids came out of those parents? That's an attractive couple, and that one looks like it came out of them, but the other one looks like a butt baby. A butt baby. Yeah, my older brother told me there's two types of babies. One that comes out normal, and then butt babies. Worse in every way, they come out of a woman's butt. No, I believed I was a butt baby until I was like 14. That explains a lot. <laughs> there's something about him that's sad. Hey, Dad. Hi, did my spark. Oh! oh. a Nancy boy like you. No, lately I'm just like a maniac. No! No! That's because we're born killers. What separates us from other killers is we only kill bad people. Usually. Unless there's a mistake. You use being a jerk as a way to push people away. You <laughs> suck at PowerPoint! But if you would just drop that, people actually might like you. Oh. 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 Parkour, definitely not your strong suit. Wow. Oh my god. He's, he's hugging me. He's hugging me. Dad, grab my phone. I don't want to move. Yes. Nice. That actually looks really fun. Uh, as someone who didn't love the Suicide Squad as much as the rest of the audience, yes. as much as the rest of, well, at least initially Rotten Tomatoes, because mm -hmm. the score dropped down from its initial run. Uh, it was like at 99 or something crazy, and then it dropped down. I forgot what it was. But anyway, I was part of the minority that didn't outright love the film. There were things I liked about it, but I didn't love it. Yeah. This to me looks a lot more fun and entertaining than what the Suicide, the suicide Squad ended up being for me. Yes. Um, th it's a little bit strange for me because his character turned out to be, you know, spoiler alert, his, t his character turned out to be a bad guy, essentially, who yeah. survived. Well, that's the thing that I find really interesting because I like John Cena, yeah. right? And I think he does a good job here. But in the movie, I was kind of like, oh God, this guy's like a real asshole. Like, it, he was fun and games in the beginning and then later on when you realize like what's happening and he turns into this bad guy it's like why would you want to make a show about this character of all the characters and then I'm watching this teaser and I'm like yeah, makes oh sense. yeah that makes sense like yeah. there's there's a lot to mine there especially the stuff with the dad and all and you know these days we kind of love getting into the psyches of our heroes and villains and whatnot and so it's really cool to explore that yeah I mean especially over the course of a TV show where you get to really understand what the character's backstory and whatnot, like yeah. you said with the dad. Uh, you said that, right? I did, Okay, yeah. sorry. I'm just like concentrating on moving the file around at the same time. So I I'm a big fan of him, even though we don't get to see him all that much in cinema, but because he was the Liquid Terminator, so he's part of my childhood. Like, oh, gotcha. That's one of my yeah, favorite films I, of all I time. Didn't, I didn't recognize like where I knew him from. Yeah. <laughs> he, I think he also had a bit part in Die Hard 2, but he gets killed off right away. I think that, yeah, the comedy is, is, is very much present in the same style of the Suicide Squad, but I guess less focused on violence and more focused on character stuff. 
Be- yeah, I mean, I'm not sure though. I feel like there's there's probably going to be a fair amount of violence. Oh yeah, no doubt. Like, no, there is going to be violence in the show, but it felt like that was a real hard focus of the film. Whereas this is more focused on, and maybe because it's a budgetary thing, because it's a show as opposed to a film. Right. Uh, it feels like it's more focused on character interactions. I prefer that. Yeah. Yeah. That's more that's more compelling for me than seeing brains and innards and stuff like that. Yeah, so. I I like the look of the the team. Um, I've forgotten the name of the actress, but she was in Orange Is the New Black, and I really liked her in that. And so I'm super excited to see her in this too. Right. Um. And yeah, I, I just kind of like that whole ragtag band of misfits comedy. And so I'm actually really looking forward to this. When initially, you know, when I heard about this show, I was kind of just like. Eh, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it'll be cool. But now that I've seen this, I'm like, oh, yeah, that does look really fun. Actually. You know, it's funny you say that because I feel the exact same way. Initially, uh, when you said, oh, this the the, the piece, I was going to say the pacemaker again. Uh, <laughs> when the, you said, oh, the peacemaker uh, teaser drop because I was in the in the office editing uh, Black Adam. I was like, ah, that's cool. Like, I wasn't actually prepared to do this reaction because I didn't really care, but I decided to watch it anyway, just in case. And it's a good thing that I did because I actually am really stoked for the show a lot more than I was for the Suicide Squad and even coming out of the Suicide Squad because I was remember I remember watching the trailer. I'm like, oh, this looks like it could be fun. And I was enthusiastic. Yes. I wasn't like at a 10, but I was enthusiastic. I think my initial feelings about this is a higher enthusiasm than I was for the Suicide Squad, if I'm being completely transparent. Like, right. I, th- I think that this could be a lot of a lot more interesting because, you know, with all these shows that we're getting, um, and DC has been doing it for a good minute now. Like they've been doing a lot of shows, a lot of which I haven't been able to watch. Yeah. Um, you know, the deep dive into his backstory with his father, I think is going to be really telling of where he comes, you know, where he comes from and how he ended up the way he is. And also this relationship with his brother who who was not revealed in the tra- in the trailer, in the trailer yet. Oh, right. Yeah. I didn't even think about his brother. But yeah, you, you do have a point there. And like, I do like that kind of comedy because John Cena is really leaning into that character really well where he's funny, but he doesn't know it because, you know, he's just so earnest in, you know, the way he was brought up and his beliefs and stuff. Like, literally believing that butt babies are real, like, even until an adult and not realizing that it's actually his brother who tricked him into right. thinking he's a butt baby and all. Um, it's just a very interesting character and he's kind of innocent and naive, but yet he's also a stone-cold killer. Yeah. It's a very strange juxtaposition. Well, he's kind of the representation of America. He's kind of a, he's like a, a, a noble well, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> With with a I like, say that as a proud American. <laughs> <laughs> with an American Eagle sidekick. Like at right. first I was like, what the hell? Right. And then like he's so excited when it's giving him a hug and everything too. It's just it's silliness at, to the max, but I I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, this usurped my expectations in all the possible ways because I thought that it was gonna be a lot darker given that given the direction his character went in the film. Yeah. So this makes a lot of sense. I wonder where it picks up. You know what it's, I mean? It probably picks up right after the film. Okay, yeah. so it's not like a, a prequel or, or something or like a, right. an origin story. Uh, to to what you were se. saying about John Cena, though, I think that he has that ability to always be earnest in whatever role yeah. he's playing because I remember him in Fast and Furious and like while there were goofy things, I don't think that was necessarily his fault. I think he was playing that role as earnestly as possible and for what the film was, which was not all that honestly like yeah. it was kind of a mess um i thought his part in it was actually great yeah no he's really great at comedy because of that fact because yeah. he always plays it as a drama and then it's just like 100 percent comedy gold Ex- exactly yeah you guys thanks so much for hanging out hopefully you enjoy that i'm jabby koi this is achara kirk peace out